family, how y'all doing? It is a beautiful fall day here in Cleveland, Ohio. If you haven't seen my videos before, my name is Linny. I am a working mama of a 15 month old little girl named Rosalie. And if you didn't know by the title of this video, these are going to be my top 10 favorite boy names that I may possibly still use. I don't know. My boy list is like forever long. My husband and I always had a pretty hard time with boy names and like my girl names. I know what girl names I'll use. Um, if we happen to have more girls in the future. Boy names, I don't know why they're so hard for us, but because they were, I have like an ongoing list of boy names. My husband and I like names that are more unique or what I think is unique. I also own a children's salon. We have over 12,000 kids in our database. And so when I say the names are unique, a lot of these names I have actually searched in our database and are either non-existent out of 12,000 kids that we have, or um, you know, there's just very few of them in there. So that's what I base the uniqueness off of names that I personally have never heard and whatnot stuff like that so let's just get started um, I'd say out of all the boy names I have on this list this is probably um, the one that I've heard the most but it is something that I would still consider unique and that I like and it would be Levi so when I say names to my husband, especially boy names for some reason, he's always like, if I say Levi, he says Jeans. If I say Jax, he says Michael, Jackson, you know, get it? <laughs> but, um, so, I like the name Levi. It is not a name I hear all the time. I think it is so cute for a little boy, Levi. It just sounds so cute. Um, and it goes, I mean, you can't really shorten it. It's already pretty short, but it goes with like a lot of good middle names as well. And not so unique middle names like Levi Michael, Levi Matthew. Okay, so number two, um, the second name I have is Bellic. Um, again, I mean, I don't really, I don't know what you would call him for short. Bellic, Vel. V, I don't know, I just love Velik. This name is not in our database at all at, at work. So I don't know where I came up with it. I don't know if I seen it somewhere or if it just like came to me. I have no idea. I just love it. Velik. I feel like maybe I heard it in a show. Velik. I just like it. I think it sounds very strong. Like a very strong men's name. I love it. I just love it. The third name I have is Anzin. Um, this name I can say we probably won't end up using Anzin. I like it a lot, but it is definitely not at like the tippy top of my boy's name list. And I know my husband definitely won't go for it. Again, I feel like all my boy names kind of are like you can't make nicknames for. I guess you could call him Zen, Anzen. I guess it could kind of be a girl's name too. This is one that I don't believe I've ever heard either. Anzen. But again, I feel like you can grow with this name. Anzen. I love it. It sounds like Anzen like a sports player to me or something, or someone that would play guitar. I don't know. <laughs> I just think it's unique and I love it. This one is one I feel like is becoming more popular. So my fourth name would be Cullen. Um, automatically it reminds me of, what are those movies? The Twilight Saga, which my daughter's name is Rosalie. So I feel like Cullen would kind of go along with Rosalie if I wanted to name all my kids something from the Twilight Saga. Um, I just love Cullen. 
I think it is so cute. Again, it's something that could grow with a little boy over time. Cullen for a man is like, to me, sounds like business-like. Cullen, it's like a strong masculine name. I love it. Uh, my fifth name is Tonics. So I feel like my husband and I heard this when we were on vacation one year. And I can't remember where we were. I just know we were on vacation. And when my husband kept hearing the dad call this little boy Tonics, he was like, you write that down. We can't forget that. I love that name. And it kind of has stuck with me ever since. Um, this name I have never heard other than that one time. So again, it's pronounced Tonics. And again, this is something you cannot make like a nickname for. It's like just short and to the point and it's like a stronger men's name, Tonics. If I brought it back up to my husband because this was probably like five years ago when we heard it, he'd probably still love it, I'm sure. He likes the very different names. Okay, on to my sixth name and it is Eris. Yes. Eris. So, you know, I'm not quite sure. I, I guess this is how I would spell it. Um, Eris. I don't know if you'd call him A for short. I always try to think of nicknames along with my names just to, you know, because everybody shortens names nowadays. So I always try to think of like, what would somebody call you if this were your name? Eris. I really love Eris and again I feel like Eris I feel like this is another name out of the Twilight um, out of the Twilight movies I don't know what it is with me and the names from that movie but I they just seem to like gravitate gravitate towards me this is a name that I've never heard on a child or a man I feel like other than that Twilight movie Eris is that a name out of that movie? I'm pretty sure it is. I love it. Eris. So cute. All right, number seven is Xavier. This name is definitely more common um, than a lot of these names that I'm saying, but I love it. You can call him Zay, Z. I just love it. And I would spell it Z-A-V-I-E-R, but you could also spell it with an X. X a v i e r so i feel like we have a few kids that come into the salon that have the name spelled with an x pronounced xavier but i love xavier i think it is so cute for a little boy even for a man xavier zay i love it i love zay too i think the name zay like shortened is so cute my next name is Navy. So we actually have a little girl that comes into the sun. Her name is Navy. I think it's a super cute name. I would use it for a boy, so I guess it could be gender neutral, but I just love it. Navy. It's probably something I feel like I had told my husband about this one and he totally nixed it, but Navy. So cute. Love it. My ninth name is Aro, spelled like arrow, pronounced Aro. And here we go again. I'm pretty sure I heard this in a Twilight movie. My husband and I went and seen all these movies in theater. We own them all. We still watch them. I love the Twilight movies. Um, so maybe we'll just have like a Twilight family. I don't know. But I love the name Aro. Um, again, I don't know what you could shorten this to. Ro, maybe. But I think, I just think it's so cute. I think Ro is a cute little boy name too. Like Ro, oh, Ro is so cute. Um, so R-O is how I would pronounce that. And my last boy name is Tyrus. So again, I don't, this one I don't think I've ever heard. I don't know how I came up with it, where it came from, but Tyrus would be my number 10 name and you could call him Ty for short 
Uh, my brother's name is Tyler, so I would never probably use this name because we call him Ty, but I think it is a super cute boy name, Tyrus. Sounds very masculine, like if you think of an older man named Tyrus. Sounds like a very strong, like, businessman, masculine name. So, Tyrus. I love it. All right, well, that was my 10 boy names, unique boy names that I love, might possibly use. Not really sure at this point. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. My husband and I are going to be going through a frozen embryo transfer in the next couple of months here, so stay tuned. Bye.